Hi, this is Parrish Black. Today is September 4th, 2011, a Sunday afternoon. This dream is about a sign to come in fulfillment. Uh, I had a dream that featured a comet. And in this dream, this particular comet had crossed the earth and the comet tail had dropped a lot of particles into the earth atmosphere which affected people in a negative way and this dream was given to me I believe in 2010 or could have been given to me in 2009 well in any case I believe that this particular dream may come to pass quite soon. I say this because there is a comet out there in space. And this comet is called Comet Elian. And some astronomers are saying that in October of this year, the tail of Comet Elian will be in front of the Earth. And some people are saying there's a strong possibility that whatever chemicals or whatever you know uh, things are in the tail of comet will affect the earth may affect the earth in a very very negative way and I want to show a video of one particular man that believes that the tail of Haley I mean the tail of comet alien can possibly uh, damage the earth atmosphere uh, this person is his name is I believe Marshall Masters and but anyhow before I uh, introduce Marshall Marshall Masters I want to show a video I made that uh, show me speaking about uh, my dream uh, that entail a comet crossing the earth so let me uh, roll this particular dream This is the last clip. As researchers, we were taken aback by the amount of disinformation we initially saw in the topic. However, disinformation does have its uses. It tells you about the false positives. This allows you to focus on the core issues, and that is where you begin to connect the dots. And when we did, an unsettling pattern formed. In this program, we're going to compare the presently available hard data about common element with three other notable comet flyby events from the past. The first of which was the fear and panic created by the 1910 flyby of Halley's Comet. Then we'll look at how Comet Linear completely broke apart in 2000. And finally, how Comet Holmes surprised astronomers in 2007 with a completely unexpected and sudden brightening. During the 1910 flyby of Halley's Comet, there was a lot of concern in the United States that the comet would poison all life on the planet. So where did this concern come from? In the latter half of the 19th century, 
Scientists developed the ability to analyze the composition of comets, and when Halley's Comet appeared in 1910, they discovered that it was outgassing hydrogen cyanide. In other words, the hydrogen cyanide within the comet was dissolving and being released into the coma and tail. The last man to be executed with hydrogen cyanide, notable for its almond smell, was Walter Lebron in Arizona on March 3, 1999. Now let's fast forward to July 30th of this year and a discovery about Comet Elodin that was, frankly, rather disturbing. This is when the Joint Astronomy Center reported the discovery of hydrogen cyanide in the composition of Comet Elenin. Here's where the fears that attended the flyby of Halley's Comet in 1910 and the flyby of Comet Elenin this year connect. Both comets are comprised of, and likewise outgas, hydrogen cyanide. Like Halley's Comet, Comet Elenin also presents the danger of Earth flying through the comet's tail and the possibility of hydrogen cyanide poisoning. In fact, this was such a concern in 1910 that many people bought gas masks and anti-cyanide comet pills from snake oil salesmen. Others organized comet parties with the intention of meeting the end in a more enjoyable setting. Given that Earth could fly through Comet Elenin's tail, will Americans buy gas masks and organize comet parties like they did in 1910? Perhaps, but we're more concerned about Comet Elenin's hydrogen cyanide outgassing for another reason. Although most scientists still think of comets as dirty snowballs, many now view these objects as being more complex than that. Aside from being a deadly poisonous gas that can enhance the blueness of a comet, hydrogen cyanide also has one other critical attribute. It is a natural dielectric. In an electric universe, hydrogen cyanide behaves like an electrical insulator, and it can turn a comet into a large cosmic capacitor capable of storing a massive charge one that can be released in the blink of an eye and for any number of reasons. Yeah, so I uh, don't want people to really think that I'm trying to stress that uh, Comet Alien uh, tail will release poisonous gas into the Earth atmosphere. I'm just saying well, I'm just trying to prove that uh, that a particular comet that I've seen in my dream, if that comet was comet alien, then so be it. If that comet was not alien, then I'm expecting another comet. But, you know, once again, here's another heads up. We have to look up into the sky and and you know pray to God that a uh, comet alien will not dump a great deal of uh, gaseous cyanide um, and you know into the earth atmosphere um, but more or less comet alien is a warning that uh, God is really angry with this planet and um, the Bible does say that uh, God will show signs in the heavens sun, moons, and stars. So, I just hope personally that it's not common kind of alien that I dreamt about. But, who knows. Thank you for watching this video. And you will hear from me soon.